hello everyone in this lecture we'll see what is ipv4 so ipv4 is a internet protocol version 4 it is the delivery mechanism used by the tcp ip protocol so ipv ipv4 is a responsible bar responsible for packetizing forwarding and delivery of the packet at the network layer so this is the packet format of ipv4 uh, sorry this is the uh, structure of uh, OSM model in this layer uh, IPv4 is used at the network layer now we will see this is the IPv4 datagram packet format so here it contains two field one is a header line header and second is a data so what is header we will see the header in detail so header in in the header first field is a version so it is a four bits it mentioned the version of the uh, packet and a version of the uh, packet format so now it is the ipv4 packet next is a header length so header length defines the four bits header length third third is service type now the service type that how the datagram should be handled so uh, this service type use is a differential service and it contains two subunit that is tscp differential service code point and co that is currently unused so it is used to defining the packet handling mechanism for the current packet being processed. Next is total length. So this helps the receiving the device to know when the packet has completely arrived. To find the length of the data coming from the upper layer and it is subtracted from the header length and it is a 16 bit. Next is identification. So when the size of the datagram is larger than the underlying network can carry, so it divides the datagram to make it possible to pass through these networks and the size of the identification is 16 bit next is flags so th this flag is a 3 bits and the fragmentation offset is 13 bits and the next is time to leave so the due to malfunctioning of the routing protocol so datagram may be circulating in a network over and over without reaching to the destination so this time to leave uh, field is used to and it is 8 bits size the next protocol so at network layer it defines the different protocol so it is mentioned here which protocol is used now next is header checksum so it does not check whether the carry datagram is corrupted so this checking is done by error ident error correcting technique so it, it is used at the sender side it is used at the network and transport layer message is sent with the extra bit and that is called as a checksum so in, at the receiver side it creates a new checksum from the combination of the message and send the checksum so if the new checksum is is all zero then the message is accepted then source ip address destination ip address and the last field is option so the overall header header is 32 bits so the description of all these fields are available in this video you can just go through it so you will get the details of this thank you